Welcome back everyone. Uh, today we're going to start doing a new video series about building a 3D printer. Now I already have two 3D printers and I should be happy but I'm not. Um, first one is the Tronxy uh, 3XA something like that. Um, that was pretty cheap, pretty good um, but you get what you pay for and this is one of these printers that you you buy cheaply and then you spend one million dollars making it actually usable after that i bought a flying bear tornado which is definitely a lot better than that el cheapo however it still ends up having to spend my life upgrading it for example i've already replaced the controller i've had to build uh, new braces realign it blah 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 it's never going to end replacing parts and I have discovered that that is actually a pretty standard issue. If you join any of the Facebook groups for most printers that I'm aware of, you find people that are endlessly upgrading them because they're not happy with what they get in the first place. And I am pretty much the same. I bought printers, cheap one, fairly expensive one, still having to replace all of it because it doesn't seem like the person that uh, ever designed these knew much about physics slash they were trying to do something on the cheap which of course is a problem that we all fall into if it was very expensive we wouldn't buy it so it's cheap and it's cheap for a reason what can you do uh, so why i want to do another printer is i want to increase accuracy now i have a particularly unusual requirement i want to be able to make round things round for my nerf guns which sound like this All right, need to give it some love. Yes, loud. Now, it is louder the more out of balance and the out of round a nerf gun is and that pretty much comes down to printing of the wheels and i am rather particular about this if i take a vernier galloper and i go around the wheels and rotate it you can tell well i guess you can tell how round it is and none of them are perfectly round they range from about 0.25 to 0.35 ish of a millimeter out which doesn't sound like a lot but when you do have two of them in my nerf gun going like this next to each other with a very small gap sometimes they knock and also that affects the pressure on the dart that we're trying to fling now unfortunately these guys cannot print perfectly around things and i'm not entirely sure why but one thing for sure is that they certainly have out of balance access as in the print head going this way and this is very light uh, relative to this one here and the same goes for that and of course they're fundamentally designed to go one way and the other way so trying to do both at the same time to make a circle may be the cause of my out of roundness so what am I going to do? Well, I don't want to buy another um, one of those. Shake and bake, as I call it, because it shakes the print job, which is, ah, forget it. It's never a good idea, in my opinion. Or an H-box, uh, H-bot slash Core XY. So I'm going to have a go at a Delta. And I'm going to be building something similar to these two, one over here. I found some blogs, pretty good blogs. One is from David Crocker. Or I'm not sure how you pronounce his name. It could be Croker from the guy that makes Duet uh, controllers, which I will probably run, being the best. So we may be doing something similar to, to his 3D printer. And I also found uh, a pretty good blog from New Norwegian Creations, which sounds random to me, because I live way down here and they're way up there. So we'll see how we go. I'm not going to cheap out. I'm going to buy reasonable quality parts, not ridiculously expensive parts because it'll be too expensive for me way down here again because of all the postage. But we are going to be building a Delta printer, which I have not mentioned. 
The reason for that is because a delta printer should be able to print a better circle in my opinion than any of these two guys because the head is distributed, the weight of it, across all three axes and therefore it is the same no matter which direction and everything is 100% calculated. So going a straight line is now calculated and so is a circle. So I'm hoping the fact that it's not inherently designed, um, I don't know, designed, but by design it, it's good at printing lines this way and this way, like these two guys, or especially that one anyway. So we'll see how well this turns out. Now I will be buying parts off the internet, putting them together. I'm hoping we can all make it together. Wow, yeah right. I will try to make it. I've never made a printer from the beginning to the end, so I'm definitely going to need your guys' help, especially when it comes to the controller, because I don't know. It's all too hard, isn't it? But it certainly will help, I think, everyone to um, make a printer, which, I, frankly, you might as well do that. Uh, I was going to buy the TiVo uh, Little Monster, which is a large-scale Delta printer. But there again, I've joined the Facebook page, and everyone is talking about replacing basically all of the parts on it, so what is the point? Might as well just start afresh. Alright guys, we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.